And like many of you, I'm sure you have a vision for a just and equitable society uh, for all Asians and for all communities of color. But sometimes it just doesn't seem like how are we gonna get to that vision? But I'm inspired by the next generation. I'm inspired by the young people that are part of BCNC. And I'm also uh, inspired specifically by a young woman named Mandy Sun, who worked with other students in Boston, Quincy, and Malden. And they wrote to their uh, public school teachers and educators and leaders and asked them to take a stand against anti-Asian racism. And so Mandy's not only writing letters to public officials, uh, learning remotely these days and helping organize other students. Um, she's being interviewed by the Boston Globe and GBH Radio. I heard that this week she finished up her college applications. So I want to extend a sincere thanks for her to take the time um, this evening to speak to all of us on a school night. Um, so I'll hand it over to Mandy now. Thank you. Hi, all. My name is Mandy Sun, and I'm currently a senior at Boston Land School. BCNC has always been a part of my life. I grew up in Chinatown and Quincy, and I went to Josiah Quincy Elementary and Upper School. And BCNC was a community center I went to as a kid. My brother and I went to the after school program and we would do our homework while my parents were at work. My favorite part of those sessions was the snacks of Pringles or granola bars that they gave us on the side. This summer, my friend Sarah recruited me to participate in the youth center projects. With other youth from Boston, Quincy and Malden, we came together to take action against the anti-Asian racism we were experiencing. I never realized the extent of racism and oppression against Asian Americans until COVID-19 brought extreme anti-Chinese and anti-Asian rhetoric. As I watched videos of physical and verbal violence towards Asians, I was scared. My little journey to the CVS store would be a scary trek. My social media was frankly shocking as well as I saw young people defending the use of the phrase Chinese virus. Even my parents who've been here for over 20 years felt rejected by this country and fearful that a stranger would be physically violent towards them. With the support of BCNC, we wrote an open letter urging our school leaders to address the anti-Asian racism that was prevalent during COVID. I didn't understand how impactful this whole experience was until the letter, which now has over 320 signatures, received press coverage and the attention of school leaders, even my own principal. I'm so thankful that BCNC has given me a voice to express my own concerns and worries. They have empowered me to be a leader and activist. Because of this experience, I hope to continue working within my community on these efforts and perhaps create change through my future profession, whether that be in public service, law, or education. BCNC is an amazing organization to support because they in turn support people like me. They empower young people and guide them to a clearer future, vision of their future or direction. So thank you.